Hi there, this is David with Tigner Adventures, and I'll tell you, I have been getting emails already to uh, plan out this summer's adventures, and it's only December. So, but a lot of places are going to be going online starting January to uh, get your reservations in and things if you are going to a really busy spot. So today we're going to talk about, you know, doing, getting some of those reservations done and utilizing a software product called TripWizard from RV Life. This software makes life so much easier to manage all the different aspects of your trip. And the nice thing is, is you can change it anytime you want throughout the whole summer event. Like I said, I'm really surprised at how many emails I've been getting from all these different places around the country telling me to get my plans going now and that reservations will start January 1st. Now, that's this is December, so that's only a month away. And it's like, oh, I was going to wait for a little while before I started figuring out what I'm doing next year. But, you know, when it comes to really busy locations, it's really important to get in there on the very first day of the reservation. Before we get started here, if you like our content, please think about subscribing to our channel and for sure give us a thumbs up and make comments. Let us know other things that you'd like to, to see um, on the channel. Um, ask questions, give your opinion. I mean, we don't know everything and we're learning from other people just as much as you may be learning from us. So kind of help out the whole community wherever you can. Now this is going to be the first video in a series of videos here just because there's way too much information here to be covered all in one video. But we want to talk about making reservations, you know, getting everything planned for our trip coming up, you know, for the summer. And there's going to be items that we want to make reservations for, there's going to be items that we want to just, you know, areas that we want to go visit. You know, we want to enter all that information into TripWizard, and some of that is in TripWizard and some is not. For example, Harvest Host. So we're going to show you how that all works, and then we're going to have a video that's just dedicated to the research capability that TripWizard has built into its software. All the information that it has, how to look at that and find out places that you want to camp, uh, and what they're rated. You know, are they? You know, all the reviews that have been given. Um, from other people. We want to tap into all that. We're going to show you how that all works. So this video will start off with how to make those reservations and at the end of the video we're going to give you some tips on how to be prepared starting January 1st or whenever a reservation uh, window opens up you'll be prepared so that you can get that information and get those sites that you want to uh, stay at this coming summer. So the first thing that we did was, you know, Ninette and I sat down and we said, you know what, we need to figure out kind of what we want to do next year. We don't know exactly yet. Um, some things are uh, up in the air. Okay, we do know that we want to go to certain places. And those certain places that we're going to go to do require advanced reservation. And so it's important that we get that done now. And so the weekends are the dates that are the hardest to get after the fact. Uh, when we were in Banff National Forest, or National Park last year, we had, during the week, the campground had openings. It was just on the weekends they did not. And that was clear up when we were actually staying there in June and July. So, you know, that part of it's not the issue. The issue is, is making sure you have those weekends covered. And Canada has some interesting holidays that the U.S. don't have, and yet, the you know for example july 1st is canada day well july 4th is a u.s holiday and people are leaving on july 4th because they got that weekend off to head up to canada to go see Banff, for example that's what we ran into so you know all these people there's diff not just one holiday you got to worry about there's lots of them and so pay attention to what the holidays are and pay attention to the weekends and then kind of try to grab those as much as you as you can and I'll tell you that uh, one of the things that we get gets us every year we don't pay attention to is uh, Labor Day weekend. So that's uh, we tend to forget about that holiday. We'll, we'll kind of usually remember Memorial Day. And so the sooner you can grab those little spots, you know, the better. So that if we don't do anything, even though we're full time and we want to go slow, 
you know, we've got to, there, there does have to be some type of urgency to planning out our trip. Now you can see this map. I've just kind of put things out there arbitrarily just to kind of hit uh, certain areas as we're traveling around that we wanted to kind of see, you know, some ideas of kind of the directions we wanted to go this summer. Our biggest thing is that we really want to go up into the northeast in Canada, all the way up into there, into Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. Ninette's always been a fan of Anna Green Gables, <laughs> so that was done on Prince Edward Island, or maybe the movie wasn't recorded there, but that's where the idea was of it. And so she wants to go to Prince Edward Island, but there is so much up there that we really want to spend a couple months because you know we are full-time RVers and we do not have to travel as fast as somebody on vacation. You really want to schedule out some time. Give yourself as much time between stops as you can and make your travel days as small as you can that you can get away with. Now, typically we do about three hours a day. And the idea is there, as you're traveling around, you're gonna see things on the side of the road that you wanna stop at and go visit them, you know, visitor centers. You know, every time we go into a new state, new country, we like to stop at the visitor centers. So we, you wanna plan out a little bit of time that allows you to do that. And that's part of the actual travel experience that you're gonna have. And if you look at our trip last year, boy, I tell you, <laughs> it did not end up anything like it started and that is the joy of using trip wizard by rv life because we can modify it anytime we want now once i have something on the map and i actually are you know we've now narrowed it down to kind of know exactly where um, the time frame is we're going to be in that area then the next thing is is to actually start making reservations let's just say that we have this one campground right here and this is the uh Link Letter Provincial Park. And so what I've done is I've highlighted that and I actually want to go through and I, I want to do some things on that trip. So this is, the, this is the actual park. So I'm gonna find it over here on the left and here it is right here. Now, I don't have any days on here right now. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just edit this. We kind of looked at this and we said, you know what, the uh, dates that we actually want to have in here is uh, we want to reserve a specific range and so if I had a number of nights that were just open I could just add some nights to this and that was going to put in the date that's already on the calendar or within the map itself but if I want to lock this day in I'm actually making a reservation at this place so I'm going to come here I'm going to click on this little calendar looking item here and this works a little interesting so I want to go to the month I want and this is going to be in July so let's just say July 15th I'm going to click once and then I'm going to you see as I move my my cursor over it's making you know a little bit of a trail there so I can go down through here and I'm, I want to say that's what I want and then I'm going to click the second time and then it'll automatically fill in the date range here and the interesting thing about this is if I do it the other way around let's say let's just say the 12th and I click here and then I move my cursor back over to here for example and then click it still puts it in up here correctly so I can go back and forth on that calendar either way it's just that you need to understand that once you click that's your date unless you exit out of it and then go back and click on it again. So it's really quite the uh, cool little setup there and you can just kind of click on it and drag it where you want it. So once those are in there, you'll notice that my nights at this particular area is 13 nights. It automatically filled that in for me. I have all this other detail that I can keep track of also, but at this particular point, I'm just trying to get some dates in there. So let's not worry about that. We're just gonna save that. And you'll notice that um, because I hard-coded the actual date in here, then I have this little warning here. It's saying there's 64 nights before this time. So I've got to come up with 64 nights somewhere else uh, because, you know, I put a particular date in there that I'm going to be at, you know. So that's pretty cool that it actually notifies me and then I have that list. Now let's go down the list here or let's go back up to the top of this list and you'll notice that I have different nights that are in here that are just listed here and one of the cool things i love about this 
uh, trip wizard software is how easy it is to change these so if you notice right here uh, this is uh, April 3rd we're going to be in Bishop California well if I decide that I want to be this is gonna mess up the whole mapping portion but but if I want to be in Bishop California on the second instead of the third if I just grab that and pull it up then you can see now I'm going to be in Bishop on the second and I'm going to be in the little town of Boron on the 6th. It's that easy to uh, move things around. So just by putting the actual nights in here that I'm going to spend in a particular location, I can, I'm, you know, making the map. I'm making the list of every place I'm going to be going. Uh, but I can easily just move things around and change them if I need to. So the only time things get really difficult is when you start locking in your dates. We don't have to be at any specific spot. And if we do, then we'll go ahead and, and reserve that date just to make sure we're there. But I'll tell you, it does add a little bit extra stress when you start putting uh, certain dates into your trip that you have to be there at that particular time. Now, you know, last year we were on a ferry ride. You know, we had to be there for the ferry. We had to be there to get there and then to get back on the ferry. So, you know, we, those are dates we can't mess with. You know, we're going to do the same this year. We're, we're hoping to take the ferry over to, um, I think it's Nova Scotia. Yeah, we'll take the ferry over there. And so those are certain things you got to reserve and, you know, to make sure that you have those spots. And that's okay, but it does create a little bit more stress within your actual uh trip planning that you're doing so just keep that in mind but you know I'll tell you as far as trip wizards concerned you're looking down through all this you know we have I mean it's it's so easy to you know click on different places and just set up places I've just arbitrarily put things in here right now so the only one that we know uh, that we're probably gonna for sure be at is this one up on Prince Edward Island uh, so, you know, we can do that reservation, but I still have a month. <laughs> okay, so that's why I'm trying to get this out now is I want to give you guys time to kind of lay out your things also, especially if you're going to go to Banff National Park, you need to, you know, understand what dates you want uh, before, you know, you know, by the time that the reservation system starts. Because when we first jumped in for Banff, for example, thousands of people were ahead of us. And it just happened to be that the particular time of year that we were going wasn't as busy. So if you want to go there in August, you know, then you're probably going to have to be in line a lot faster. And that's going to create a lot of anxiety. So let's go ahead and talk about some tips that will make life a little bit easier for you as you uh, are trying to figure out things to do this uh, summer, when to do them, and, you know, as far as making reservations and things. So the first thing you want to do is figure out the place that you're going to go, of course. But once you've figured that out, the best thing to do is figure out who is covering the reservation for that particular site. Um, in our case, make a reservation in Canada. Well, they have a certain reservation system that you need to use. And so you want to find that out and you want to log into that system. Uh, in the U.S., um, recreation.gov is a good one. You want to create accounts on all these different sites before you know, the time is needed to actually make the reservation. Last year I did not do that and that caused a lot of issues and a lot of anxiety on my side, you know, trying to get, you know, I had the reservation there but now I got to create an account and then it took me to a different website and am I going to be able to come back and still continue on? There's a lot of things there that I would not have had to uh, gone through if I would have made the reservation or, you know, logged in and created an account ahead of time and that way I know it's all working, they've already got my credit card on file, all that information is done. And then with that in mind, I want to look at all the different sites that I'm going to be going to. And I want to actually try to make a reservation. This is one thing I found out. If I try to make the reservation early, it's going to come back and tell me when the period is that's opening up for that specific site. Every site is different, you know, so just because you know, someone starts January 1st, like for example, when we went to Banff, that didn't even start until into March. When we went to uh, the U.S. Forest Service one, that started January 1st, or the U.S. Parks, you know, National Parks, that started January 1st. So every one of them is a little different, and it's better to just go in there and try to make the reservation for the site that you're interested in. And it's gonna tell you, hey, this site's not going to open up for reservations until this date. And then you at least know that. Another really cool tip to know, because I didn't do this either, is that 
you know, it's really kind of a pain in the hind end that, you know, you can only make reservations online and they charge an $8 or whatever fee for making reservations online. It's like, well, if you're going to charge me, then I want to make it in person, but they don't allow it in person anymore. So you have to pay that $8 fee or whatever it is. In my case, it was $8 in Canada and you have to pay that every time you make a reservation. So I made a reservation for Lake Louise for a couple days. Then I went back and I got charged $8. Then I went back to Lake Louise and said, here, I'm going to make another reservation. I added some more days. I paid $8. Oh, I need to add another day, $8. So if you are organized ahead of time and not like me, then you only have to pay those fees one time for each one of your campsites that you're going to go to. So uh, we even ran into an issue when we were up in Campbell River where uh, because we made our reservations late, we could only get into um, one campsite for four days and then we had to move to another campsite for the remainder of our trip. So we ended up paying $8 for each campsite. So the faster you can do it, the more organized you are, the more money you're going to save. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you can see how Trip Wizard can be of a value to you when making your reservations for this summer. The cool thing is, is when you lock that reservation in, it won't let you put other reservations over it. So you're not going to get all messed up as far as uh, reserving two different sites at the same time. I mean, it makes it so much easier to manage how your trip is going to be laid out this summer. If you're not a member of RV Life yet, you don't have uh, Trip Wizard software for yourself yet, then use our discount code TIGNER25. Save 25%. You've got seven days to try it all out. And if you don't uh, like it, then you just cancel it and you're not out of dime. It doesn't cost you anything and you get to see how it all works. But if you're like us, then you're going to love it. And, and I mean, as we travel around and we're meeting different people, Everybody always jumps in when I'm telling somebody something somebody will come up and they'll say that's the best software I've ever had you know I get those comments all the time and so you know it's not just me being paid <laughs> you know I, I make a commission off that discount code it's not because of that that I'm telling you this I'm telling you this because everybody else is telling you this and we've used it for five years and we love it it's not perfect but we love everything that it does. And because of the customer service and what they'll do for us, that's what really makes it perfect. So with that said, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along with us. Remember, you know, reach out to us. Give us some comments in the description below, whatever. Uh, any questions that you have, let us know. Otherwise, we'll just plan on seeing you on our next video or maybe somewhere down the road. So take care.